Superior hasn't gone to the state tournament in 17 years, so it's pretty excited. You can just feel the excitement within the community. I mean, the school, they're buzzing, and everyone seems pretty pumped. So we have a fan bus going. I know the band's going. All the girls are super pumped. Pretty much all of our friends are really excited for us. We always at least get like a good luck, at, or like almost every class, they're always like good luck, and I, I hope you guys do well. And if you guys do win on Thursday, we'll be there on Saturday and just stuff like that. So everyone seems really excited and supportive. I'm a born and raised Superior guy. Played right here my whole life. Been active at the youth level all the way through a game to the high school. This right now is what is keeping this community on fire right now. Everybody is rallying. Everybody's texting, supporting, emailing. It's unbelievable right now the atmosphere is out in the community and in the locker room right now. And now I never saw this coming. I mean, our freshman and sophomore year was pretty tough with winning almost like only two games. So it's just like one of the best things to be able to go to the state tournament. All 25 of those kids out there worth their tail off. Doesn't matter if we're in the weight room, if we're doing cardio across here in the bleachers, or if we're doing laps on the ice rink. There's complete buy-in and they work together. The work that ethic is outstanding. Number of girls, if we're working out, we're doing setups, we do 10, they'll do 15 just because. I just think we work really well together. Like, we just uh, all like know what each other's thinking on the ice, and we can just communicate really well. And like, if something goes wrong, we can talk about it on the bench, and there's no hard feelings about anything. We need to be more physical and aggressive. I think our bond is pretty, like, unseparable. I mean, we call each other family, we're with each other all the time and it's just always fun to be around each other. They work so hard together, they're, they're friends off the ice. They do a lot of things, uh, a lot of activities together as well. They want this for themselves, they want this for the community, they want this for the little kids that they help at the youth level. It's one big family that we preach around here and, uh, and they're buying in. Here we go, Spartans! Here we go! Hayward's definitely one of our rivalry teams, so that win was pretty crucial. Definitely got everyone excited, especially having some forward Hay Hayward kids on our team. I'll tell you what, Hayward is a dynamite team. They're well coached, they got talent up and down that roster. We had to earn that game, much like back in December. It's nice beating anybody, it was nice beating Hayward, but we'll take the win no matter who was against Saturday. But it was, it was extra special being our neighbors. It was surreal, it was like a dream. Um, <laughs> uh, I was like nervous all day about it. I was envisioning the game the whole entire day, but I just think that like the team was really excited about it. There's a lot of tears. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most is just the experiences that we're gonna be able to, I guess, foresee for everyone and just the hotel rooms playing at the state tournament for the first time in a long time for us. I'm looking forward to getting there. It's like I said a little bit ago, it's my first time there at the high school since 2006 as a school. Looking forward to getting there and seeing what this is all about and hope to come back with the title. We played Hudson earlier in the year, beat him in double overtime. So it's, uh, we got to work. It's, it's going to be a classic game. We're looking forward to it as they are. So anticipating a really good game. We played him in the regular season and we beat him 3-2 to two in overtime. So that was pretty exciting. Uh, I actually played with a couple of their players on Team Wisconsin. So I know they have a good goalie for sure. So. We just got to get past her and hopefully we can make it to the state championship game. We got to be efficient with the puck, we got to play our game, we got to skate hard, skate fast. Our strength and our skating ability, our kids can skate with anybody. If we play southwest hockey, move the puck up the ice, get to the hard areas around the net, earn some goals, we'll be just fine. We just got to put pucks in the back of the net. I think keeping our energy and attitudes up on the bench is huge. We have a great group of kids and everyone, including our coaches, is so supportive of each other.